Dr. Cooper officially lifting the stay at home order, but implementing what he calls a stay at safer at home order in phase two and also saying we will go to phase two of reopening on Friday at 5 p.m. but calling it a more modest step into phase two. But this is the announcement that many people have been waiting for because restaurants, salons, barbershops, pools can reopen, Erica, but uh, still bars, nightclubs, gyms, public playgrounds and bowling alleys will stay closed as of Friday. Yeah, they talked about the wear, wait and wash, reemphasizing mm -hmm. that and saying that just because you can go out doesn't mean that you should. Everybody has to make those personal decisions. We do have a team of reporters to take you through the impacts on things like restaurants, uh, salons, barber shops, and even your entertainment as we move into phase two. Want to start live with Channel 9's Mark Becker. Mark. Yeah, Erica, here at Restaurant Land, you can almost hear the collective sigh of relief. The restaurant dining room here at Harper's at South Park has been closed for more than two months now while everybody was ordered to stay at home. And the owner today told me this comes just in time. He is really wanting to get his employees here and at his other restaurants in town back to work. Of course, he has to do it all, as the governor said, cautiously, safely, with that 50 percent capacity limit and new regulations about safety, cleaning and distancing inside the restaurant. All of that while still making a profit. It won't be easy in an industry that has razor thin profit margins to begin with. Now, it won't be easy for other industries as well. Folks like barbers and salon owners have the same challenges. And today, my colleague Deshaun Brown has been speaking with some of them. Deshaun. Yeah, Mark, I did. I spoke with several salon owners or have heard from several salon owners. And one thing that I've heard from them is there really is no one size fit all solution on how to reopen. One of the owners works in this suite. And one of the things she mentioned was the challenge with PPE. You heard the governor reference face mask when you come to have a salon service done. She says they still had a challenge even getting that. And you've got to keep in mind so many salon owners and barbers, others in the beauty industry spend so much time in close personal contact. But there is also the issue of just trying to pay the bills. That has been another major concern for several salon owners and others in this industry. They do now have the option on whether they want to reopen, but I am learning today not all of them will. I do want to toss it over now to my colleague Blaine Tollison for a look at how this will impact the entertainment venues. Deshaun, venue owners trying to navigate this as well with uh, many of them across Charlotte still not having hard dates on reopening just yet. You can imagine how hard this must be for them. They don't have tables and chairs to make people maintain social distancing. I'm here in Notice um, under the Neighborhood Theater uh, awning and behind me you can see the Evening Muse where the owner there told me that they are looking at things like hand sanitizer stations, thermometers to check people as well as masks. He says he that he would like to maybe work with the city of Charlotte as well as other local independent venues on a plan. As far as your massive venues like PNC Pavilion and the Blumenthal, they're banding together with Live Nation and other large venues to come up with a plan. It's still up in the air, but they did mention some things like temperature checks and having audience members arrive in a staggered fashion to those venues. Lots of interesting ideas out there, which I'll get into more shortly. Erica. Thank you, Blaine.